I would not be who I am today and where I'm at today had I not had that trial period, that affliction period, that persecution period. Yeah. That was just another story, another test. It's like what you made of. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Let me ask you this, man, because you been on the internet crazy. Uh, I've seen it back and forth with, with you and certain people. I, I know that you ain't been saying the names of the people that you was into it with. Yeah. But at the end of the day. It don't benefit me. It don't benefit you. <laughs> but at the end of the day. My name's a valuable one. <laughs> <laughs> so you. you, you My you name's get, a big. Bet. You get into it with this guy, like, and, and you, you sue him is what I'm, what I'm uh, seeing in the internet. Like, uh, how much did this um, basically build you in a sense from where you were to where you are now like for going through that situation i would not be who i am today and where i'm at today had i not had that trial period that affliction period that persecution period yeah that was just another story another test it's like what you made of and yeah. what 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 uh what's so vindicating about it for me is like what god shared with me at the end of the whole thing is like, see, I'm not a, I'm an influencer, but I'm not an influencer. Yeah, I'm a real estate guy, but I'm not a real estate guy. Like, I'm a man of God. I'm called by God to do great things and just whatever it is He got for me, right? So I went through all these. I didn't even get to half my stories, but God, I've, I've been divorced, I've been bankrupt, I've been like all these different things, right? Parole, work release, house monitoring, ankle bracelet. I got the, the, the cliche black man's journey. Yeah, of everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And God specifically gave me that testimony so I could minister and reach so many people on a real level. So like even going through a social media slander or whatever the case is, God just said to me simply, if you can't handle social media, you can't handle nations. That's real. I thought about you when I was looking at that stuff and I thought about Joseph in the Bible, mm -hmm. how he never complained, but he kept going through trials, whether he was, he knew he was a king, but once he gets thrown in the pit, brothers turn their back on him, he ends up having to go into Egypt, and when, once he gets there, he go, ends up going to jail and all kind of stuff, he's just going through all these different things, but he don't complain, and he consistently go through what he gotta get to in order to help a lot of people. Yeah. Same thing you just ended your conversation with. So it's like, I'm, I'm, I feel amazing. Like I'm, cause everybody know I'm tested and I'm vetted. Mm -hmm. Like everybody know. It's just crazy though that the way that you know how your wife and like my wife when we went through our situation, is we never shook because we knew God. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? No matter what nobody throw at us, we still praying together. Me and the kids, my wife, yeah. we reading together. We, we, we standing firm together. So it's hard to come up against somebody when they know God is the one backing mm -hmm. them. So that was one of the main things that I had going for me. And when you a man of God like that in the priest of your household like that, you got to understand that you're not even going against that person, man. It's just a spiritual come warfare. Come on now. Do it's I say that a lot? <laughs> it's real. It's just a spiritual warfare. Like the same people, like if the, if the internet had any level of spiritual maturity, spiritual ranking. Yeah. I'd be able to see that the man attacking you, does he pray with his family? Mm -hmm. I'd be able to see your heart because like look at this, if you're a man of God, I'm a man of God. We can't argue with him so long. That's mm -hmm. it. Because if you're a man of God, I'm a man of God, then I'm gonna treat you like I wanna be treated. So even if you offend me, I'm gonna follow the word of God. If your brother offends you, go to your brother first. That's right. Go to your brother directly. That's right. If a brother be overtaken in a fault. Or, Not through social media. Or if you offend me and dog me as a man of God and all that, then one of us would be quick to go to compassion, quick to go to forgiveness, yeah, yeah. quick to go to understanding, quick to go to prayer. So it's like you comparing me to a non-man of God, like, bro, it's the comps ain't there. In real estate, we have something called comps. It's three comparable homes that are similar in square footage, similar in style, similar in age, similar in bedroom count, bathroom count, that gives you the the value, the average price of a three comparable homes that sold within one square mile within the last six months. That mm -hmm. gives you the value of a home. Mm -hmm. Y'all comparing mansions to trailer parks. Mm. Wow. These, you, the only comps for me are other men of God. Mm -hmm. That's real. Other real men. That gotta mm -hmm. be. So the, the comps ain't the same. So yeah, it, it looks funny, it looks off. Yeah, you're comparing like, you know, 
Let me ask you this, Tulsa Real Estate Fund. Tulsa Real Estate Fund as the first ever real estate crowdfund, 100% black owned. Mm -hmm. Explain that to me, what, 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 are we, what, what, are, what is it? Tulsa what? Real Estate Fund is um, a regulation tier two crowdfund. Okay. It's the largest black owned crowdfund in the history of America. Wow. We uh, partnered with 15,000 families from 22 countries and were able to raise uh, over $11.5 million together to deploy $9.4 million into projects in uh, 10 different states with 12 different uh, developers, black de all black developers around the country. We've created over 200 jobs. Uh, we built a black house here in Atlanta. You got to see it before y'all leave. It's right in East Point by the airport. It is. The Legacy Center, yes. A 30,000 square foot, uh, culturally dipped, Class A events venue and media production space. Um, We've also launched a mentorship program, Big Brothers Anonymous, which through our through our center, which partnered with the Obama Foundation. We mentor oh. young uh, men of color, young boys and men of color, ages 12, 24. Only here in Atlanta? Only here in Atlanta for now. And uh, but the, the Tulsa Fund is group economics. It's Black Wall Street in real life. It's Black excellence in real life. It's, wow. it's, 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 um, it was our duty to carry on Marcus Garvey's vision, Honorable Elijah Muhammad's vision, Malcolm X's vision, Dr. King's economic vision, and so many others. Um, O.W. Gurley, the founder of Black Wall Street, and J.B. Stafford of Tulsa, Oklahoma, were called Tulsa Real Estate Fund, not because I'm from Tulsa, but because the homage. That's Black it. Wall that's Street. it. That's yeah. it. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. Uh, it's polarizing. Yeah. Um, but it is a fund that went through an SEC investigation, an FBI investigation, DOJ investigation. 18 month investigation, hundreds of thousands so of So they checked employees. everything. They checked everything. No findings. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E Heat, a reason you see.